Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x to the power of y minus y to the power of x. This is equal to 17. So given that x and y, these are members of positive integers and that x is greater than 0, y is also greater than 0. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y? So let's prevent the solution from here. So we have x to the power of y minus y to the power of x. This is equal to 17. So we can express x to the power of y as x to the power of y raised to the power of 1 minus y to the power of y. x. We can express this as y to the power of x raised to the power of 1. This is equal to 17. The next step is that we can express 1 basically as 2 over 2. So that now, here we have x to the power of y raised to the power 2 over 2 minus y. y raised to the power x raised to the power 2 over 2. This is equal to 17. Now, x to the power y raised to the power 2 over 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have x to the power of y over 2 raised to the power 2 minus y raised to the power x over 2 raised to the power 2. This is equal to 17. The next step is that we can let x to the power of y over 2 b equal to m as well as we can let y raised to the power x over 2 b equal to n substituting m and n in this equation then we have m squared minus n squared this is equal to 17 so m squared we have that m squared minus n squared this is actually the difference of two perfect squares which you can express as m plus n, m minus n, this is equal to 17. Now, we have that m is greater than 0, and n is also greater than 0. So from here, let's get the prime factors of 17. We have 17 times 1, this will give us 17, then 1 times 17, we also have from here that m plus n, that is m plus n, this is greater than m minus n. So following this condition, then we have that 17 times 1 satisfies the condition. 1 times 17, this is rejected. So we have m plus n multiplying by m minus n, this is equal to 17 times 1. Therefore, from here, we have m plus n, this is equal to 17, then m minus n, this is equal to 1. So we form a system of two ring equations, such that, let's add these two system of ring equations. So we have m plus m, this is 2m, then n plus minus n, this is the same thing as 0. And then 17 plus 1, this is equal to 18 from here. So we have 2m, this is equal to 18. So to solve for m, we divide both signs by 2. So that now m, 18 divided by 2, this is 9. So we have that m is equal to 9. Now, let's solve for the corresponding value of n. We have m plus n. This is equal to 17. Given that the value of m is equal to 9, we have 9 plus n. This is equal to 17. So that n will be equal to 17 minus 9. And this implies that n is equal to 8. So we have the value of m and we have the value of n. Now, if you recall, 
if you recall from here, we are saying that let x to the power of y over 2 be equal to m and that y to the power of x over 2 be equal to n. Let's substitute m from here. So we have x to the power of y over 2. This is equal to m, which is equal to 9. So let's eliminate these two here. We have to square on both sides. Let's square on both sides. So that 2 and 2 here, we eliminate so that we have x raised to the power of y. This is equal to 9 squared and this is equal to 81. So from here, we can express 81 as 3 to the power of 4. So this implies that x to the power of y, this is equal to 3 raised to the power of 4. Such that from here, we have that x is equal to 3 x here is equal to 3 and we have that y will be equal to 4 so y is equal to 4 now let's check with n let's check with n so that we have y raised to the power of x over 2 this is equal to n which is 8 so let's eliminate these two here to do this we square both sides Let's square both sides. So here we have 2 and 2 here simplifies. So that we have y raised to the power of x. This is equal to 8 squared and this is equal to 64. So we can express 64 basically as 4 to the power of 3. So we have y raised to the power of x. This is equal to 4 to the power of 3. So from this relation here, we have that y will be equal to 4, and we have that x will be equal to 3. So you can see here we have y is equal to 4, and x is equal to 3. The same case here, x is 3, and y is equal to 4. So that means that we conclude that x, comma y, this is equal to 3, and 4. These are the values of x and y. So the next step is to verify. Let's verify from here. Let's verify. Let's verify. So if you recall, we are saying that x to the power of y subtract y to the power of x this is supposed to give us a value of 17. Let's substitute here. So we have 3 raised to the power of 4 minus 4 raised to the power of 3. This should give us a value of 17. 3 to the power of 4, this is equal to 81 minus 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 64. This is supposed to give us a value of 17. So 81 minus 64, this is equal to 17, which is equal to 17. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x and y, which is 3, 4, satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. If you have alternative formulas, kindly share in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.